Hi guys, this is Paul from Graphics and Maria from Graphics as well. How are you today, Maria? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well today. Um, so essentially what we're doing today is we're going to show you how to do a market basket analysis using our no code tool from Graphics. So Maria, what is a market basket analysis? So market basket analysis is normally seen on, for example, supermarkets, in online retail stores, um, such as Amazon. That will be the section where it says frequently bought together items. Let's say that I wanted to buy a sports t-shirt and Amazon is going to recommend me to buy sports shorts. Okay, excellent. So yeah, like it's equally called associate rule mining. So it's about finding these associated rules. So maybe you want to design the layout of your supermarket. You can look at items that are most commonly bought together. Classic mm -hmm. example is sugar, flour, and eggs. People are making cakes. They want the bacon stuff in the same area, you know? Yeah. Do you have any examples? You were telling me one about when you've seen market bas basket analysis gone wrong, were you? Yeah, I saw that one the other day on LinkedIn. Um, this guy, he wanted to buy a flower bouquet for his wife and it was out of stock. So the shop recommended him to get a pepper instead. And that's not going to work, is it? Not really, <laughs> yeah. That's not going to be a nice gift. No, like, no. Unless you really like peppers, of course. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. So how did we do this market basket analysis? Like maybe you're able to talk us through the first steps. Where did we get the data set from to begin with? Yeah, so we got this data set from Kaggle. Um it's from a bakery up there in Edinburgh. Um Edinburgh. And, yeah, Edinburgh. <laughs> I've not been there. Um and it's very easy, as you already know, here in graphics. We suggest you some different type of analysis depending on the nature of your data set. And in this case, it's pretty, pretty easy. You go to commerce, and here you have one specifically for basket analysis. So it's already so, set up. Yeah, it's all set up. You just have to choose here a couple of variables like your order ID or order date, and then click next. And that will take you directly to your project. Okay, looks good. How long would that take? How long? I, I, how long did it take you? I would take around two or three minutes. Okay, okay. And if it's a bigger data set, it, it takes longer, no? A little bit, yeah. A little bit longer, but you're never going to be waiting too long. Okay, yeah. excellent. So, oh, immediately there we can see some outliers, and you can see as well that the coffee is definitely the most purchased. Am I correct? Yeah, in this case, the size of the, size of the notes is telling us um, which are the most purchased items. So we can see, for example, here in the variable, um, if we go to the highest ones, that will be coffee, bread, and tea. There's a so massive there. difference in the quantities, isn't there? Yeah, it's just... It's Between tea and coffee, that surprises me. Sure, yeah. Really in Edinburgh, like maybe, maybe in Madrid it'd be different, like I'd expect coffee, but... Could be, it'd be could be. It'd be the same, the same. Okay, excellent. So maybe um, maybe let's have a little look as well into the outliers there. I'm seeing mm -hmm. the purple cluster here. Can we dive a little bit into that? Yeah. So, cluster five. So these, if I'm seeing correctly, is postcard, t-shirt, and Valentine's Day card. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing these outliers because of the fact they're not food or drink and we're in a bakery, no? Yeah, that's it. And also it's very important as they are like Valentine cards and stuff like that. They're mainly bought in February and a little bit in January and mostly on Saturdays. Okay, tourists probably a lot of the time with the postcards will be what's created on the Saturdays. Can we put that into absolute so we can see a real difference? Oh, relative, sorry. Relative. Yeah. I get myself confused between the two. Okay, excellent. So let's have a little look into, shall we have a look into what people are buying with the Valentine's Day cards? Sure. We select the neighbours. Here it is. What do you think about a salad? Right, okay. A salad and a Valentine's Day card. They don't, they don't normally go together, do they? Not really. <laughs> well, definitely though the cake and the Valentine's Day card. Which would you prefer? If your boyfriend bought your Valentine's Day card and a salad, or if your boyfriend bought your Valentine's Day card 
and a cake. Um, I would truly appreciate the cake instead of the salad. <laughs> and maybe I'd play argumentative day on Valentine's Day if there was a salad involved. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I think this is a very interesting insight. So we can just save it here. Yeah. Insight. Click on here. And how would that look? Yeah. And here on insights, we can see it. Um, but you can definitely change your title, add a description. You can also make these bigger or smaller and add other variables. Um, ours looks like this right now, but we have others here that we created before and look a lot more nicely. Yeah, a lot better once we spend some time. Yeah. What else? Okay, well, why don't we try and create like a meal deal situation? So this is a bakery. I'd expect mm. to see some form of meal deal, lunchtime offer, or something like that. So, like, what do we go with so, language, languages? Yeah, let's see what are their neighbors. Okay, so we can see, obviously, coffee again, tea again, but then you've got things like smoothies. It's kind of already all done. So, a lot of people buying soup and a sandwich together. Is that a thing? Well, it could be two people buying it, but equally we do eat like a soup and a sandwich to dip the sandwich in the soup. Really? That's it's nice. I don't know. I don't know if that's an Edinburgh thing or if that's a UK thing or what, well, but yeah, we do like it. But a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, so immediately there we could just put all those things together, maybe except from the bread. So this is that common sense thing. Even if people are buying a bouquet of flowers, quite often with a pepper, they don't necessarily go together. So you've still got to use some common sense. But mm -hmm. if you take away the bread, then I'd say everything could be a meal deal immediately yeah. there. You would buy three for four pound. Yeah, I totally agree. Whereas this is Edinburgh, buy three for 10 pound. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, I'd say that's, uh, that's enough. So like, this is for a small bakery in Edinburgh, but if we have, you know, every single Tesco store in the UK, then this would take a little bit longer, no? Mm -hmm. You yeah. dive into analysis. All this could mainly have been done with a bit of common sense for them. But if you're on a massive scale, it would definitely make sense, especially if you're e-commerce. Yeah. yeah. It can definitely make a difference, yes. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd say, I'd say that's, that's us covered, really. Um, it looks lovely where you are, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very oh, sunny yeah. today. I, well, I think your background's a bit nicer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for having me here. And, Thank uh, you very much. Speak soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Soon. Bye.